Welcome everyone to HFN today's January the 6th, 2020, where we trade different and as well, we are your trusted source of news according to the price chart. We're going to give you all an update on Bitcoin. You guys saw on our last video, which was done on the 2nd of January, the market was giving us a lot of weakness and we were expecting Bitcoin to see some lower prices. But on that video, we told you where TP had to be in order for us to see higher prices and the market in Bitcoin came and hit that TP location prior to moving higher. So we're going to talk about this article right here from Ethereum World News and it's giving us the title how Bitcoin is poised to surge into the $8,000 range. We're going to look at the price chart to see if that's actually feasible. And if so, we will give you a forecast of Bitcoin moving higher. But first, if this is your first time watching our video and you appreciate the content, hit that subscribe button, like and share the video. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and on our own website at hughfinancial.com. Article written by Nick Chong today, January 6, 2020. And it goes into some analysts who I guess research Bitcoin and they give their reason as to why they're suspecting Bitcoin will continue to see higher price. The first one is Jaws Ogowitz. Okay, he's an analyst at the Brave New Coin. He noted that Bitcoin was going through an inverse head and shoulders chart pattern. And if you guys have been followers for a while, you know that we don't follow patterns. We Those are pointless. Patterns are only meant to be broken. So an inverse head and shoulders has the notion and it's considered a bullish pattern that is likely to mark a strong bottom and in Bitcoin's case the bottom would be around $6,900 so with the bottom coming in Bitcoin Josh posted on TradingView that should Bitcoin hit $7,525, then he's looking for a move to around $8,100 to $8,700, which would be about 8% to 16% movement higher. That's what he's expecting. And as to why he is suspecting that is because he sees a confluence of a few key resistances the 200 day ex exponential moving average the daily ikomoku cloud a yearly pivot point and the weekly 20 moving average all of that is just technical jargon that does not assist any analyst into understanding where a market is going to go got another individual a cryptocurrency and forex trader that goes by the name of Livercoin posted on Twitter this past Saturday, believing that Bitcoin has been trading like a textbook Wyckoff reaccumulation esque pattern again, pattern over the past few days. Now, the Wyckoff pattern that he's talking about should. Bitcoin follow it to a T, meaning it cannot divert, divulge off of that pattern. It has to follow it precisely without missing any iota of the pattern. Then Bitcoin can break higher and higher in the coming days. Another one, another cryptocurrency trader called the moon stated that Bitcoin's hash rate is now eight times higher than it was back during the $20,000 top of 2017, implying to him that the price of the leading cryptocurrency is about to explode soon. So you tell me where soon at? When can we expect soon to occur? Is that in a day, three days, a week? two weeks what is soon and then you had to define explode how high did he think Bitcoin is gonna go hope he's not thinking twenty thousand dollars right now who knows so 
All of that said, we need to look at the price chart to determine whether or not Bitcoin actually has the chance to move higher. Now, before I do, I wanted to show you the result of our previous forecast in Bitcoin. And you can tell right here is where the market in Bitcoin came and hit that TP area. The market came all the way down to 68.53.53. So it definitely came and hit our TP location. Uh, we only had to go a little bit lower if and if it did but overall we got that tp out the market so let's take a look at it see where it was at so maybe about 0.71 percent prior to the market and bitcoin seeing those higher prices so very quick small forecast profit into that analysis but we knew that it could happen because in our video, we told you that the market in Bitcoin came and tested again back in this particular time period numerous times. So we knew that it was a probable thing that could happen. And that is the third time I will say that Bitcoin came and bounced at that $6,900 level and moved higher. Now, clearly, you already know $7,600 is where the market in Bitcoin is finding resistance. That is the next hurdle that Bitcoin has to overcome in order to even see the prospect of Bitcoin hitting $8,100 to $8,700. Okay. So that hasn't been accomplished yet. And we've been eyeing that area for a while that the market in Bitcoin really just consolidating in this space. And now today we came and hit resistance that occurred right here on the 23rd, as well as numerous days in the beginning half and ending half of November and December 2019. So we still need to focus and pay attention to see whether or not Bitcoin has enough oomph to break above $7,800. That indication will be seen going forward of Bitcoin holding $7,400. If we break below $7,400 today, even going into tomorrow's trading, then this prediction that Jaws and everyone else is looking for Bitcoin to move higher will not come to pass. Okay, taking a look at Bitcoin on a weekly time frame real quick. Now, I would have loved to have seen Bitcoin close above the close from last week. If we would have done that, then I would have been in the camp with these other individuals on this article of Bitcoin moving back up into the $8,000 range, $8,700 range. But I can't say that right now. So we are still in consolidation of Bitcoin until Bitcoin breaks above seventy eight hundred dollars. Don't even think about Bitcoin breaking and coming into eighty one hundred to eighty seven hundred dollar range. That is the true hurdle in the market for Bitcoin at this point in time. Seventy eight hundred dollars. And what I'm suspecting to occur into the market in Bitcoin is that it's going to hit this $7,800, $7,700 level. And then is when the test is going to be had to see whether or not the buyers will be able to overcome the sellers. So for us, I'm still expecting the market in Bitcoin to really hold this consolidation of range. We are in the prospect of it moving higher, but like I stated, $7,600 is coming in as resistance as we speak. So now the market in Bitcoin needs to hold on to the selling that is currently coming through this market. Let me take a look at a smaller time frame real quick.
So in situations and indications that I'm getting on these multiple time frames in Bitcoin, I will just have to sideline it because we are going through that motion right now in Bitcoin to try to break above the $7,600, $7,700 level. If I see any more weakness really come in on the smaller time frames, I would definitely push uh, Bitcoin moving to the downside, but I'm not necessarily getting that just yet. Definitely the battle was going on between the market participants though. So right now I'm just going to hold out on the market in Bitcoin, but just to give you an overall picture, let me tell you this is that we really haven't ach achieved anything in the market of Bitcoin. So until we see this market in Bitcoin break above 7,600, then 7,800, we're going to hold this area of consolidation of trading. Okay. So until the next time we come back and give another video on Bitcoin, I'm just literally expecting the market to do just that. Consolidate. So questions, comments, let us know. Make sure you always maintain your profitability and I'll see you all on the next one.